Okay, Leo, I'm all coffeeed up. You got me in a good mood. I think she just saw me at the Starbucks line. Those girls were having way too much fun behind the counter. And I, for the first time, understood what it meant to be old. I was like, oh, this must be what, what it's like to, to be old in the eyes of a teenager, where they think that like you're being mean or mad or curmudgeon, but really life is just kind of beating you down and time is kind of worn on you and your expectations have been delivered, uh, to say the least. Um, so, sarcastically, of course. Uh, so let's quick hit real quick um, for, the overview is like money, we'll, we'll say business, okay? Finance, work, career. Business, finance, work, career, okay? So for business, we have Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. For finance, the Knight of Swords in the upright. For work, we have star card in the upright and for career we have the nine of wands in the upright which is interesting because i believe cancerian got the same thing for career business finance or career um so knight of pentacles for business is lack of forward movement seemingly in your kind of business endeavors maybe your entrepreneurial endeavors and yet, like always, I'm you know a positive Peter because, and yes, that's my first name. Um, allow me to reintroduce myself. The Page of Wands is a restless. It's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight. Um, it's a restless traveler energy. Your compass is spinning. You have all your energetic resources, but maybe you're not really necessarily pulling the trigger, and/or you're not certain or confident to some degree. You're always told to follow your heart, at least in my interpretation with the Page of Wands in reverse, despite this feeling like you're off track business-wise. You know you got a good product, but things aren't selling. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, and yet, you may even want to look to pour more finances in your business. Okay, remember the business of self, even if you don't have a side project or a hustle or an entrepreneurial gig, it could be investing in apparel it could be you know beautifying you know your your, your set um, you know things like this because you know we're talking about finance and there's a rush with the knight of swords six of pentacles in the upright as well so for me this kind of represents a rush to investing reinvesting into yourself and then kind of looking at the ways in which you could get this back on track here with the knight of pentacles in the upright okay very interesting how those kind of work together now Let's go for any more with the finance here. You may want to take that hit to kind of, you know, pay that uh, that yearly kind of tax bill to re-up on your, um, what's it, your, your license and, and registration for your LLC or what have you, something like that, okay? Funds might come rushing towards to help you do that as well. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse here to kind of clarify finances. Again, more stuck, stagnant energy here, but I know that that doesn't, necessarily mean what we think it's going to mean it just means that things are on pause for something else for a bridge to be formed here it's almost as if some sort of bridge is being constructed normally the five of swords in reverse represents the past but for some uncanny moment here in time i feel as though this is kind of a bridge to the future um in which case you know construction is underway you're still having to leave something emotionally, toxically, okay? You're still having to let these energies kind of bleed out and fade out. You will do so. You will be victorious here with the Six of Wands in the upright, okay? Maybe even leaving toxic business partnerships and what have you. Um, wish fulfillment. Um, and as for work, um, the star card in the upright. So something uh, in regards to a wish fulfillment is going to be occurring for your more of like a day in, day out work endeavors is what I'm getting here. Um, work, I more so kind of define as like, you know, that which you kind of are consistently doing day in and day out. Um, it's a wish fulfillment, but it's something that you couldn't have forced. It had to have come kind of quantumly, almost like a birthday wish, 
we reference here. I personally have a birthday this month in the month of April. This is the wish card here, outside of your hands. Typically it's betrayal, but I'm reading this more so in this deck as outside of your hands. Um, because you've consistently expressed yourself, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is expressing yourself in a healthy way, not lashing out. Um, you will kind of receive uh, this kind of, uh, some, in some way, shape, or form, wish fulfillment. Uh, Leo, regardless if this is your birthday month or not. Um, for career, you got the Knight of Wands in the upright. This has been, uh, you're going to get incoming communication because these are one and offset, even though this was kind of work, quote unquote, but your day to day work tends to kind of build the path that is your career, your, your career path. Um, and then there is such a thing as like completely switching lanes. Nine of Wands in the upright is you could feel burnt out at times, this is overexerted, this is maybe not being acknowledged, but when you kind of pull back your energy, I think is when you kind of see this incoming communication as well. And not to kind of fret because the marathon, the, the long race is won over a long period of time, right? Ten of Cups in the upright, this is a high watermark emotionally because I do think that you're going to be seeing your, you know, what you've kind of built and established is, um, I wanted to say meager, but meager is kind of a pejorative negative connotation. In a humble way, uh, your own kind of humble corner of the internet or your own kind of like, you know, what you've built career-wise is gonna kind of see this high watermark in the, in the month of April, I think, with that 10 of cups coming out here. Um, and you will kind of be able to not have to work as hard this month, um, I find. Um, let's pull, and I feel as though that it could be because of investments as well. So let's, let's see, um, and that Six of Pentacles came out for business. And so business is to me more so related to investments as well. Um, I think that you're going to be kind of seeing a snaking in its own tail in that some of your investments are going to pay off so that you can take a little bit of the gas pedal, uh, foot off the pedal, foot off the, the gas pedal. Um, let's see, investments. Yeah, you're on your kind of business acumen uh, high horse. You're at the top of your game here with the Queen of Swords. She's exactly specifically known for business acumen. Um, science, mathematics, very calculated. Okay, so you're at, your, at the top of your game is what I'm getting, Leo. You have a very kind of keen eye. Um, also for kind of continuing to educate yourself and, and keep current with trends here. This is the energy of a student, the page of swords. So I think that that's really kind of, you're figuring out ways where you can work smarter instead of harder, okay? And um, this month of April is gonna, you're gonna kind of really be able to, to, again, the nine of wands is having done all the heavy lifting. And so offset with the knight of, with the knight of wands, this is the nine, this is the knight, they sound similar, right? One's a knight horseback with armor, one's the number nine. They offset, so there's incoming communication, and it's gonna be a very kind of lovely thing. It's gonna be a happy, emotional, high water mark. Someone might reach out to you to give you a bonus, or to sign you on to something, or scoop you up as a talent. Something of, something of this nature because of the career path, because of the work that you've done in your career path. Um, this could be, again, in reference to a completely different lane. You might even see an opportunity from an old life come back. Uh, something that, you, you know, if you've left a traditional job, you might finally see an offer that's worth your while where you could agree harmoniously. This might be kind of a, a career marriage match made in heaven type thing, um, which is kind of fascinating, actually. Is there anything else that we need to know about the Nine of Wands in the Upright? Because again, that came out for career, and I'm just really fascinated as to, you know, because we said that the, okay, okay, well, the Emperor's out here, hello. That's the King of Kings right there. We said that work comprises, composes the career path, right? The work is the day-to-day. -day. Um, let's see. And with the Ten of Swords in the upright, I believe, coming out for work, was that there is a wish fulfillment, but it's outside of your hands, which is good. Because to me, that speaks to more so the gestalt, the spirit of the work 
that is the encompassing career of the many work days that you put together here. Hence the high watermark with the Ten of Cups in the upright. And I think being perceived as the emperor, being able to kind of take your, take your seat on the throne and kick your legs up and get this kind of big daddy energy going here, male or female. Um, very lovely, very lovely. And I do think it's an it's a aspect and a facet, it's a dimension of working smarter and not harder because you've got this Queen of Swords energy coming back for you. And so you're able to kind of, again, whether it's stock investment, cryptocurrencies, you're able to have this kind of more passive approach offset. you got different irons in the fire, so when one's cooling off, the other's heating up. And you're able to kind of water um, whatever you know business ventures are needed. If one is burnt out, take a step back off of that, water and feed the other seed and grow that. So very beautiful, very beautiful. I love what I'm seeing there. Um, I think that's it. We've done a good amount of time. Um, I'm feeling good. Let's knock out the rest of these today um, for the money, April 2022. That was, again, the extended for Leo on the Patreon and or if you're watching this mid to late April. Um, love you guys. Feel free to comment, like, share, follow, interact, and engage with the page. It helps. Um, and uh, love you guys. Holler for more. Peace.